Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. My name is Ed, and today we're going to be drinking Wolf Pup Session IPA by Golden Road Brewing. All right, well, this sucker is, it has an ABV of 4.5, and uh, I mean, I really do like IPAs personally, and um, this one is a Session, IB, uh, session IPA, so based off the ABV, which is 4.5. Um, it's not uh, your typical IPA, which has a lot more alcohol content. So this one, you could drink a few and uh, not feel the effects so quickly as you would a uh, higher ABV beers. Now, obviously the big, the big news about Golden Road Brewing is that um, they were purchased by InBev, Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser. So a lot of people felt that um, Golden Road had turned their back on the craft beer industry and uh, basically sold out. Um, you know, so where does our responsibility come in? How do you feel about this? As a beer drinker, what are we concerned with more? Um, the source, who makes it? Or are we concerned about the bottom line? The final step, the basic product. What are we concerned with? The, um, you know, obviously, um, I love craft beer, so I always want to support the the little guy. But at some point, when does the little guy become the big guy? When does Sam Adams become mainstream, as it is now? Stone Brewing, um, a lot of other craft breweries around there, Stone like I said, and uh, Sierra Nevada, um, you know, there's a handful or even more than that that you can mention. Once they be become a certain size, do we start supporting, do we stop supporting them or do we still appreciate the product as long as it's good product, big or small? Um, I mean, are you going to just support a product because they call themselves craft beer or you're really gonna hold them to a standard that you would any other beer corporate beer so you know that's something to think on that's something that four or five beers will make you say on a YouTube video but um you know where do you go I mean I'm pouring my golden road brewing wolf pup into my green flash Pint glass, which I love. I've been to the brewery, um, and I love Green Flash Brewing. Um, but uh, living in LA, when Golden Road came out, I enjoyed everything that they um, that they produced. And so, was it kind of surprising when Inbev um, bought them? Yeah, but at the same time, you know, hopefully the product. And, and that's, I guess that's, that's where you basically have to keep your eye out. What about the product? You know, the final product, is it going to change? Is it going to stay the same? What's going to happen to it now? Because it's owned by InBev, do I no longer drink Golden Road Brewing, even though I enjoy the product? That's up to you. Um, me personally, I'll still continue to drink Golden Road, um, but I also support my local brewery. You know, around me, you have Eagle Rock Brewing. Um, which is out there also great product and would I stop supporting them if they um, sold or received um, money from InBev but they continue to uh, basically t uh, have control then I don't know let's see about this one See that? A lot of carbonation. Um, you can't see through it, so it's a little bit cloudy there. Definitely has uh, IPA characteristics. 
definitely citrusy. You definitely smell those uh, those hops in there. I believe one of them is Cascade. I couldn't name the others, but definitely typical IPA smell or scent. Definitely crisp. Now, not as bitter um, as a higher ABV, but does that really come from the ABV? I don't, I don't think it does. So uh, maybe it's just the, the different hops and the way it was brewed that it uh, has a little less ABV, a little less bitterness, but still. You can still taste it on the back of your tongue that it's definitely um, an IPA where I like to, when I talk about um, IPA, and the first thing that comes to mind is like a, a grapefruit peel. Like if you bit down on a grapefruit peel, that type of bitterness. But I just, I just love IPAs just because it makes you feel like you're drinking something, something with taste, something that you could feel. Um, I love it and you know everything that Golden Road has come out with I really do like um, you know and hopefully they'll continue to make good products and I guess it's us out there us beer drinkers to keep them honest and uh, let them know that we are on them if they start changing ingredients and changing the product and the quality diminishes it's our responsibility to hold them accountable uh, but till then till you could honestly say that the product has gone down um, I think there's nothing wrong with us still supporting beer and at the end of the day that's what I'm supporting is beer good beer so regardless if you're a local brewery or the biggest beer maker in the world if you make crap We'll call it crap. And if you make good beer, we'll call it good beer. And that's all we could do. All right, guys. Well, thanks for spending another evening here on beersandbars.com. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. If you um, have any comments, please do so. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.